Hey guys, welcome to Audrey's reading area. Alexa, what time does Audrey's reading area? What time is Audrey's? Audrey's Home Health Care Agency in Lithonia is open all day today. I never heard of that one. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area at 5 o'clock p.m. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. Today on this fabulous Friday, fabulous, inspirational Friday, please hit like, please hit share. And then when I'm done here, go on over to YouTube and smash. I said smash that subscribe button for me. Now we do know today's inspirational Friday. So we all know today is July 2nd. Sunday is the 4th of July. So for Inspirational Friday today, you guys, I have a very inspirational book to read to you guys. Check it out. I can be president too. I can be president too. So this is to inspire you to guys to reach high. You can be president of the United States. You guys know that, right? You can be it if you put your mind to it. So study hard. Do what you're supposed to do. Do the right thing. I can be president Two, this book is written by Yanitsia Kaneta, Kaneti. Yanitsia Kaneti, Kaneti. It is a scholastic book. Oh yeah. What do Chris Mendoza, Jessica Wu, and Becky Cohen have in common? They all want to be president of the United States. Nothing wrong with that either. The 14 children in this book have the characteristics it takes to be worthy candidates. Do you? The children in this inspiring book teach us to vote for hope. Look at that. My 4th of July book. I can be president too. Yanitsia Kaneti. Kaneti. My name is Chris Mendoza. I'm five years old. I can be president too. Yes, you can. I take care of my grandparents. I help dad. I talk with mom. I spend time with my little sister. Vote for me. I love my family. So if he loves his family, someone's taking care of their family, it's a characteristics, a character or characteristic of taking care of all of us, right? That's a good char characteristic to have. My name is Jessica Wu. My name is Jessica Wu. I'm six years old. I can be president too. I listen to what my teacher says. I don't interrupt my friends. I always wait my turn. Vote for me. I am respectful. Mm. That's a very, very important characteristic to have, being respectful. My name is Hank Wellen. I'm seven years old. I can be president too. I ask questions until I understand the answer. I try again and again. I never give up. I work hard to get what I want. Vote for me. I am determined, determined, yes. That's a very good characteristic to have, being determined, trying, trying hard, trying hard and never giving up. Definitely a good characteristic. My, Paul is, my name is Paul Ngongo. I am eight years old, Paul Ngongo, eight years old, I, can be president too. I say what I think when someone asks. I admit my mistakes. That's important. I never blame others. So for the things that he does or may do wrong, he doesn't blame anybody else. He owns up to his responsibility. Vote for me. I am honest. Aww. And for, for those of you that think he looks like me, it's not my son. 
I have never met Paul Ngongo. And he's honest. All right, all right, all right. My name is Becky Cohen. I am nine years old. I can be president too. I make a list of chores. I clean my room. I pick up my toys. I put everything away where it belongs. Vote for me. I am organized. That's nice, right? My name is Dave Pearson. I'm 10 years old. I, I can be president too. I get along with my classmates. I talk to my neighbors. I am part of a team. I have friends from all over the world. Vote for me. I am friendly. That's a good characteristic to have because you have to be able to get along with people in order to be a leader, right? You have to get along with the people that you're leading. So that's a very good characteristic to have. Very good character. My name is Lucy Villaflor. I'm nine years old. I can be president too. I share all of my books. I help raise money for school. I bake cookies for my neighbors. Vote for me. I am generous. You have to be a giving person, giving. Yes, you do, to be a leader. So she, she says, I am generous. Yes. Nice. My name is Ben O'Connor. I'm 11 years old. I can be president too. I do all of my homework. I walk my dog every day. When I promise to do something, I do it. Right? That's what I'm talking about. When somebody makes a promise and then they follow through with it, they do it. That is a good, great characteristic to have. That's what we look for in our leaders, right? You promise me something and then I vote for you. You got to follow through. You got to do it, right? That's right. That's right. Very inspirational. I'm inspiring you guys to, to try to be something up here. Like try to strive. Try to strive. Reach for the stars. My name is Adele Chevalier. I am eight years old. Aw. I'm eight years old. I can be president too. I listen to everyone's ideas. I stand up for whoever is right. When we have pizza, I make sure everyone has enough. Vote for me. Vote for me. I am fair. Oh, nice. Nice. My name is Nick Papadakis. Nick Papadakis. I am 10 years old. I can be president too. I have great ideas. I am good at puzzles. I, I love to invent things. I always look for more than one answer. Vote for me. I solve problems. That's right. He tries to solve problems. Isn't that what a good leader should try to do for us? Should try to solve problems. Wow. Great characteristic to have. Oh, my name is Amy Al-Zahari. I am eight years old. I can be president too. She says, I can be president too. I turn off the lights when I leave the room. I recycle bottles and paper. I never throw trash on the ground. I protect animals. I even plant trees. Vote for me. I take care of the earth. Aw, and look at this picture here. Aw. My name is Alex Petrovich. 
I'm nine years old. I can be president too. I get my friends to join teams and school activities. I use good reasons to convince others I am a role model. Vote for me, I am a leader. My name is Emily Mishra. Emily Mishra, Mishra. I am eight years old. I can be president too. I help my friends understand each other. I try to end arguments. I think of answers that are good for everyone. Vote for me. I work for peace. Don't we want that in a leader? Someone who votes for peace? Oh yeah. My name is Eric Antonini. Eric Antonini. I'm seven years old. I can be president too. I promised my teacher that I would be good, and I am, every day. I promised my parents that I would learn all of the states, and I did. Vote for me. I keep my promises. That's what we need, right? We all have different things to offer. We all can make a difference. We are the hope for a better world. Vote for us. Yes. And that's why you guys have to prepare yourselves for the future. You don't realize it now. But you got to prepare yourselves for the future. You got to prepare yourself for the future. You got to study hard. You got to educate yourself. How can you be a leader if you don't know anything? And when I say don't know anything, I mean educate yourselves. Educate yourselves so you can have all this information. Move up. Aim high. Reach for the stars. That's right, you guys. I can be president too. That's right. Look at them. I say they did a good job. I say you can do a good job too. Some of you are already doing a good job, but you can do a good job too. You guys can reach for the stars. Anybody can be the president of the United States. So I want you guys to study hard. Become something great. Become a great leader because I know you can. If you need to hear me say it again, come on back to Audrey's reading area, rewind and play it again. Cause I know you can, I know you guys can, I know you can do it. So on that note, yes, please, 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 please. Don't forget to go over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button for me. Don't forget. Now my shout outs today, shout outs to my mom, of course. My mom's name is Bev. Shout out to my mom for always, always, always being here and supporting me, showing support. Shout out to my cousin, Daniel. Daniel, thanks for being here, Mr. Daniel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Cece. Shout out to Michelle Buchanan. Shout out to my, my sister, Rita, who always pops in. Shout out to my cousin, Elid, and my girl, Victoria, who share my videos every day. Like, I, I know you're going to. I know you will. I know you will. Thank you, thank you, thank you for smashing on that subscribe button, punching out that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube here at Audrey's Reading Area. Yes, and I will see you on Monday. Today was Friday. I hope this book inspired you on this inspirational Friday. Yes. So I will see you again on Monday. Yes, live. At five on Monday, I'll be live, L-I-V-E. Live at five on Monday. I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. Please be safe. Be safe. Safe travels to all that are traveling. Remember again, be safe. See you soon here at Audrey's Reading Area. As a matter of fact, 
when you have nothing to do on this vacation and they're cooking and they're barbecuing, you guys go on YouTube and pull up Audrey's reading area and listen to me read some books to you. How's that? Sounds good to me. All right, all right, all right. I'll see you guys on Monday live at five. See you soon.